Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Rosero Network. I am Dan Webb. I'm joined by none other than, than Rich Walker. Hello, Hello, Rich. Hello. Uh, today we are going to look at Forza Motorsport 7's career. Um, yeah, so we're going to give you a brief oversight of the, the kind of the intro to the career and then how the career is structured. Um, yeah, so we've got plenty of racing, all in 4K. We're not in 4K though. Four. But the game's in 4K, yeah. so you get to see the sexiness. Oh um, but the point of this, this kind of intro is that it gives you an intro to, as the game says, speed, versatility, and adaptability. So okay. starting off with speed, there's your uh, versatility and Lorry there's your racing. adaptability. Yeah. Wow. We'll talk more about that. I haven't put much of that in, but yeah. Um, okay. As you can see, it's fucking beautiful, mate. It's beautiful. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's the career. It's the Forza Drivers' Cup. Um, we jump straight in first. So we got the three things there, and we jump straight into speed. We are uh, right. Dubai. We're racing in. Okay. Uh, so it's like blue skies, like orange, golden sands, uh, and we're in the Porsche 911. I think it is the GT2 RS. Um, but look at all that, everything going off. It's like so pretty. Every time a new Forza Motorsport comes out, I always think, how can it get any prettier? Mate, and 4K. Lo and behold, mate. There it is. 4K. Like, there's just so many kind of little nuances in this. Like, one, the cars sound fantastic. fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And then you've got things like the, the helicopter, and you can change the view to yeah. see that. But I don't know why anyone would do that. No. <laughs> um, By the way, trust you to go for a Porsche. Oh, no, you, you don't choose. You oh, you don't, don't choose. Oh, really? so the oh first it's the car, color star, isn't it? Yeah, the first star that I, car that I ever yeah. driven was my favorite car of all time. I okay. love the, the Porsches. My yeah. favorite brand, should I say. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure I'm ever going to be able to afford a, a GT2 RS. Uh, I think they're about 200k, like pounds. So they're kind of expensive. Forget it. But like the little nuances of the track are amazing. So mm -hmm. you'll see like there's, I, I, I did a couple of minutes basically just to give you a sample. Um, the car sound incredible. And then you got the sand kind of just- The dunes, man, they look coming great. across oh, the yeah. road. Um, huh. And, and just there's a tunnel bit and like can you see it just yeah, sweeping across as well that's really nice man uh, and there's a tunnel bit as well oh this literally just right on cue right um, just for the sounds as well and as soon as you get in the t it's just that roar man it sounds incredible it's not just visual porn right. it's audio porn is as this well. um this is in Dubai so is this an actual place in Dubai or is this from the minds of the dead I'm thinking it's from the minds of the dead I've been to Dubai I don't remember they're ever. looking like this, yeah. but I don't know, man. It's but this is around the airport, right? Yeah. Uh, and there's the, the, you can see the Burj in the yeah. background. Cool. But yeah, moving swiftly on, this is the versatility section. It's in some Mercedes Benz truck, truck. racing. Truck, yeah. Uh, and we're on uh, Magello. Uh, yeah, I find, I find these kind of things very boring. Yeah. Because you don't go very fast and like you almost don't have to break for corners. Yeah, weird. I remember, do you remember Jester who made the music games? They brought out a lorry racing game and that's all it was. Really? And it tanked. It yeah. was dreadful. So I, I don't understand how this could be fun for anyone. You know. Like, I, I, it's a novelty, right? Yeah. But yeah. I just, I, t I can't get my head around them pers like, personally. Yeah. Like, Hey, do you want to drive a super fast Lamborghini yeah. or a, a lorry? Yeah, like, I, I, I don't know. Like, me personally just can't get into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And I can't even get into the mindset of it. Because it's quite boring. <laughs> I mean, we're going like, we're going around this corner at four, 50 miles an hour. There's like, lorry racing fans watching this seething. Yeah, right? Like, I've never met anyone that plays Forza for the lorry racing. Or even... But this is new, no, this it? is new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but there were like trucks and vans mm. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I, in the mini games of like uh, Horizon when we played them with the vans. Mm. Like with the, um, uh, the, white, the white vans, basically. And yeah. That was quite fun. But that was just us messing around. No, of course. Uh, competitive racing. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's a weird fit for me. Um, so I don't spend too long on this. I'm fairly sure I cut about now. Oh, so close. It's nice to have it there now, I suppose. There we there go. We go. <laughs> uh, and then now this is uh, Suzuka. Earlier on, we, I, we put some videos up on the channel. Yeah. One of them was Suzuka. In that, we were in a 1993 McLaren F1. This is not. This is a Nissan GTR Nismo. That um, rain. That rain, like, though. It sounds incredible. You can hear it kind of just bouncing off yeah. as well. And like kind of hitting the underside of the car as well. Like you can do with like gravel and stuff when yeah. you go off track. It's but, amazing. Yeah. And like... It, like if you compare this to the one we put up earlier, like the wing mirrors look a lot more realistic okay. uh, in this one. Uh, but the weirdly, oh, you'll actually see it on the next track because we ride cockpit from here on out for the mm. rest of the video. Right. Um, the McLaren F1 that that we uh, raced, the 1993 edition, uh, has two um, rear view mirrors. 
Oh, okay. Like, right. And they don't look they don't look really crisp. Whereas if you look in the wing right now, I mean, that, that looks great, right? Mm. You can see the, the roads, you see yeah, the reflections yeah. and stuff. Can I just point out the bouncing wire on the dashboard? That is attention to detail, Oh, shit, mate. I hadn't even noticed that. Yeah. <laughs> look at no that. No way. <laughs> they bother to animate that. I mean, like, wow. I haven't been excited about a motorsport <laughs> game, like Forza motorsport game, yeah. for a, a long time. After playing this, I was like, holy shit, mm. that is incredible. Yeah, right. Like, And it's not necessarily, like, it still feels and plays like Forza, mm. but just the whole visual and the audio aspect of yeah. it, like, it's just done it, especially in the rain. Yeah. And it's really hard to drive in the rain as well. It looks it. But it's not impossible. Like, mm. when I played Project Cars 2, like, I struggled in the rain there for a long time. Yeah. Whereas, for the most part, I was competitive mm. uh, in this. Um those the, the massive um, racing sim fans out there will be going I wouldn't say competitive um, <laughs> but I don't know as, as someone that has to play each and every game mm. you have to kind of be good at everything yeah but yeah so this is the career set of the driver's cup you've got like what six different pillars there and you, you mm -hmm. do there's nine in the first one and then there's ten in the next one and then you do them uh, we went for rides of the supercar and these are like some of the old kind of the old school supercars nice. uh, so I'm just giving like a quick look at that before we so shiny yeah right mm. just look at everything and like the, the floor and just the, the reflection of the cars and the floor yeah. the reflection of the, the place in the car <laughs> it's just amazing so this is the uh, McLaren F1 1993 that I was talking about steering wheel in the middle steering That's wheel how in the you middle know. Yeah. two uh, rear view mirrors um, that's crazy uh, and I started really poorly I actually spun off on the first corner I got knocked on the first corner really so but we get, it's good because we get to race through the pack mm. now um, but it's so much fucking fun, like so much fun, and it, it looks incredible. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we've said it a million times, and you can see for yourself how great it looks. But yeah, I mean, that, that, that it plays like a Forza game still. Yeah, and, and it's 60 frames you know. as well, 4K, yeah. 60 frames. Uh, actually, the footage doesn't have the HDR on it. Oh, okay. Because right. if you add HDR to the 4K, like the file would be yeah, like as big as the game, like ten times as right. big as the one that we've got now. So yeah. Microsoft turned it all off okay. uh, just because. I think I think you're probably looking at like probably I don't know, 250 gigabyte of footage an hour with the HDR on. Bloody hell, really? Um, but even without the HDR on, it looks wonderful. I played mm. it with the HDR on before we capture as well. Looks even better. What difference does it make? Just the the colours. Just the colours pop. The, everything's yeah. brighter. Everything's more vibrant. There's right. a lot more kind of contrast. Um, okay. but like with the different greens and stuff like that. Mm. It's uh, it's uh, it's HDR, mate. Yeah, it's, nice. Uh, Lovely. It's got a good range. Excellent. You could say um, it's highly dynamic. Yeah, range. you could say could it's you? highly dynamic. <laughs> wow. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, this is Monza uh, yep. in our McLaren, and this the reason that we're using McLaren in all our videos is because this was our first career car, yeah. and this was our first race. Get ready for that big uh, hairpin, Dan. Mate, no, fuck that. That just, big Monza hairpin going. at the beginning. And the reason I cho chose this car was is because it was far quicker than any other, any other cars on yeah. a straight. So I was like, you know what? I want the top speed. Uh, so it's more of a chicane, shadows in the isn't car it? as well. Look at the shadow move yeah. as as the tr as you move around the track, like because of the sun. Mm. Like just and they've, then they've basically done everything in, that they could have done from a visual standpoint. Right? Yeah, I mean it, it's hard to see where it goes from here. But mm. This is the perfect kind of advert for bullshit. The Xbox One X yeah. and 4K uh, yeah. in, in my eyes. But Forza it always is the the kind of poster child yeah right? it is yeah it's, stuff. it's like hey look how good yeah, this yeah. can look mm. um we haven't really seen a lot else on uh, it yet like new games in terms of like and uh, we've no. seen patch stuff but uh, this is my first uh, this was actually my first time playing with the xbox one x as well oh really yeah um because obviously we didn't go out to e3 uh yeah. we sent dom instead um, so he got to play the, the juice in the same. So me personally, this was a, it's wonderful. Rich, we were you suitably, race. suitably impressed? I was like the, the audio more than anything blew me away. Really? Because like, okay. I had these lovely. I don't remember what the headphones were, but we had the headphones on. Yeah. And then like the first time I went through that tunnel, and it mm. sounded like incredible. Like you were there. We like the reverb and the sounds, and just the engines kind of. Nice. It's just, it was wow, mate. It was wow. I was <laughs> well impressed. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of excited, Rich. Hmm. Yeah, um, I mean, this has got me excited. I mean, I, you know, Forza's not exactly high on my list of games that no, you know, I have to play. Likewise. I enjoy them when I play them, but looking at this, I want this. Yeah, I yeah, actively yeah. want it. It's amazing. But yeah, so it's out on October 3rd. Uh, the patch for this version uh, mm -hmm. is coming out with the Xbox One X, which will be available on November 7th. 
Um, thank you very much for joining us, folks. That was Forza 7. Check out the channel tomorrow and we'll have more 4K Xbox One X footage. And throughout the week as well, we've got loads of stuff. We've got Namco loads. stuff. We've got, yeah. Anyway, yep. check it out. Awesome. Um, thanks for joining us, folks. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye. Bye.